let's talk about it. A lot of people say that all roads lead to heaven. And basically what they're saying is God is not powerful enough or is not able to give mankind one book, one way. And if all roads truly lead to heaven, that's a real bad trick God played on the whole wide world when you're considering or when we consider all the religious wars that have taken place and all the conflicts that have been caused because one person believes one way and another person believes another way. So therefore, if God is real and he is real, there has to be just one way to get to him. And that one way has to prove itself the moment you believe on it. Walk with me down the Romans road. I'm turning to Romans chapter 10. And let's read a few verses. Brethren, my heart desires and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which does these things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. Now before we read these next two verses, meditate on this. They beat him. They whipped him. They put a robe around him and a crown of thrones and mocked him. His body's battered, bloody, and then they take him to a cross and nail it to him. Or they crucify him because, you know, someone carried the cross for him. And they crucified him. And the last words he said was, it is finished. But remember, they didn't take his life. By force, he let them take his life. He let them crucify him. He allowed it to happen. Now let's read these two more verses. We're going to read a couple more verses because I want to make sure we understand the Romans' road to salvation. Romans 10, chapter 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe us in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. One more verse. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear? without a preacher. It's real simple. It's so simple people make it complicated. Based on the horrific punishment that Jesus took on the cross.
This is the reason why he's the doorway to understanding this Bible. And without Jesus, you're never going to understand the Bible completely. With Jesus, we even struggle with some verses with Jesus and praying and asking for understanding. But without Jesus, you have no chance of understanding this book. But if you want the truth, this is what I guarantee you. The moment that you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and was resurrected, instantly, God will reveal himself to you and you'll know the truth. So either I'm lying or I'm telling you the complete truth. When you get a chance, read Romans chapter 10 and consider it. Remember, God does love you and he wants you to have eternal life.